Currently, I've been working on motorizing my bicycle using an electric motor and we are quite done with the mechanical part of the project. So now I need to make a battery pack for this bicycle and we are going to need something that is rated for nearly 80 volt. So for that I am going to use 18650 cells from the two hoverboards laying around my workshop. Since each of these battery pack is rated for 42 volt and it contains 20 pieces of these 18650 cells. So we are going to need two of them and eventually we will end up having 40 pieces of these cells. And I'm pretty sure that these cells are not holding the same potential since they are from two different used batteries. Ever since we have been working with these lithium ion cells, we have to go through this stage when we need to balance charge each one of these cells individually. And this time we are up with 40 of these cells. Now to make life easy, we are going to make a modular charging unit that can charge these 18650 cells individually. And there must be the flexibility of charging as many cells as I want simultaneously by adding up more modules in the grid. So I did some research and found these boost converter modules that are specifically made to charge those lithium ion cells. They are dirt cheap and seems like they'll get the job done. Besides that, I got some cell holders that can hold up to 4 cells. Since our goal is to make something modular that's easy to produce repetitively in order to form a large grid. So I decided to design a printed circuit board that's going to hold everything together and makes the whole setup neat as well. So with a bunch of complementary components added to the schematic, I've designed the PCBs. Now each module is going to have two cell holders, so to hold eight cells and thus we are going to need eight TP4056 module as well. An XT60 connector is added along with a switch that will serve as the main input for the whole grid. Moreover, I've added switches for charging each cell individually as well. As I finalized the design, I headed up to PCBWay.com and ordered 10 boards that are going to be enough for building a grid that's capable of charging up to 80 cells. I then uploaded the Gerber files and finalized my order. Here I would like to thank PCBWay for making this project possible. So guys have a look at their website as they are offering great discounts over this Christmas and for the discounted codes check the link in the description given below. As the boards arrived I gathered all the components and started assembling the PCBs. Well, that took me 10 minutes to get one board done and I'm amazed by how good these modules turn out. Later, I built more modules to form the whole grid. Besides that, the link to the schematic, Gerber files and the list of the component is given in the description below. So be sure to check it out. To charge a couple of cells, we can use a cell phone adapter to power the module. Besides that, we can use a computer power supply to power the whole module or even the grid using a single XT60 connector provided on any module. Finally waiting for the cells to get charged and will soon be coming up with that electric bicycle conversion video. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> 